Hi, this is Reverend Amy from the Minokin Presbyterian Church. This week, Jordan and I focused on prayer and we had her brother Levi and my niece Charlie join us. And so there were a lot of activities and we didn't really quite get one seamless video. So I'm gonna show you what we did this week. Um, one of the activities we did was we made pretzels. We made soft pretzels. Um, and you're gonna say, what's pretzels got to do with, uh, um, with prayer? But the legend of the pretzel is that when we start, when we flip it over, it kind of looks like praying hands. Um, and so the legend, of the pretzel is that the monks in Germany were wanting to find a tasty treat and wanted to help the kids in the village to remember to pray. And so they um, rolled the dough and formed it into the pretzel shape um, as in praying hands to help the kids remember. So we made um, pretzels um, to pray. And then also, since it was St. Patrick's Day, the day we were meeting, um, and it is St. Patrick's Day weekend, we learned a um, prayer, an act of prayer, um, a prayer to use with our bodies that um, uses the words from St. Patrick's um, prayer, one of his prayers. Um, I believe it's called the, his breastplate prayer. So I'm gonna show you that video um, with the kids and I will change, I will also um, share with you the words after just in case you can't hear them very well, but here are the kids doing the St. Patrick's prayer. The St. Patrick's Prayer that we learned together, right? So, Levi, say that. So, it goes, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ below me, Christ above me, Christ to my right, Christ to my left, Christ within me. So there is Jordan showing us uh, the prayer and um, it's such a beautiful prayer and it's such uh, an easy way to kind of remember that God goes before us and behind us, behind us and in every, um, wherever we are going to be walking and stepping, Christ is there with us. As well as those days that we, um, it's all that we can do just to stand still and to be in the place that our feet are planted and know that Christ is there within you. Um, so. Have a blessed and beautiful week. Know that you are a beloved child of God, deserving of love and respect. And God is with you, within you, and is using you to bring grace and peace into this broken world. Amen.